The late Ivana Trump seemingly had it all, but even the rich and famous aren't immune to heartbreak. In her 73 years, Ivana went through a lot. What were some of her lowest points, and how did she persevere? Keep watching for a look back at the Trump matriarch's dramatic life story. Ivana Trump, born Ivana Zelnikova on February 20, 1949, was raised in the small Czechoslovakian town of Zlín. Her mother was a telephone operator and her father was an electrical engineer. Ivana's hometown lacked the extravagance that would satisfy a material girl like the future Mrs. Trump, so she took the earliest opportunity to escape the hand-sewn clothes and lines for food rations. Athletes in the country were allowed to travel abroad, and Ivana had trained as a skier. As part of her junior national ski team, she was able to visit Italy and Austria. Those trips left their mark. Ivana fell in love with the West. I could see that there is a better life mm. in the West. In an interview with Newsweek, Ivana's mother Marie said that her daughter was ambitious and keen on leaving Czechoslovakia. However, in order to visit her parents in the future, Ivana needed to find a way to leave legally, so she married a ski instructor friend in order to obtain an Austrian passport. With a legitimate license to leave, Ivana was able to settle in Canada, and later in the United States. In her memoir, Raising Trump, she admitted that her first marriage wasn't real and her husband was aware of it. The union lasted just two years before being dissolved. Ivana Trump made some very revealing comments in court documents during her 1990 divorce from Donald Trump. She called him verbally abusive and demeaning and said his treatment of her was cruel and inhuman. She became an executive, not a wife. Before they even considered divorce, Donald placed a clause in their prenuptial agreement that would require Ivana to turn over all marital gifts if they separated, according to the New York Daily News. Even more alarming were Ivana's allegations during a divorce deposition. According to Lost Tycoon, The Many Lives of Donald J. Trump, Donald was angry at Ivana for a botched scalp reduction surgery he had done by her plastic surgeon. He allegedly pulled at her hair, ripping it off from her scalp, and proceeded to sexually assault her. She told close friends afterward that he raped her. Donald denied the incident and the surgery, and in 2015, his lawyer questioned whether a person could rape their spouse within marriage. When Lost Tycoon was printed in 1993, Ivana confirmed that she felt violated, but said she did not mean for it to be interpreted criminally. She walked back the comments even further in 2015, when the deposition quotes were printed in the Daily Beast, saying the article was baseless and the quotes came amid a bitter divorce battle. Ivana emphasized her recent relationship with Donald Trump, which was amicable, and she wished him well on his presidential campaign. Ivana told ABC News in 2017 that she wanted full credit for raising Ivanka, Eric, and Donald Trump Jr. In an interview with The Ray Darcy Show, Ivana said that Donald Trump never changed a diaper. Was Donald the type of dad who changed nappies? No way. No way, no. <laughs> no. She described him as an uninvolved father who would never push a stroller or take his kids to the park. He was so absorbed in his work that he couldn't be bothered to drop off his kids at school. In fact, the Trump children would travel from their penthouse suite in the Trump Tower to the 28th floor, where Trump worked, to say goodbye in the morning. He also reportedly had trouble communicating with them as children, but was more engaged once they were adults. Despite all this, Ivana still considered him a loving father. Donald basically confirmed all this when interviewed on The Opie and Anthony Show in 2005. He acknowledged that some men agree to, in his words, act like the wife when it comes to parenting, which he said included changing diapers, but that sort of arrangement wasn't for him, and he wouldn't have had kids with a woman who expected that from him. He even scoffed at the idea of walking his kids in Central Park during a Howard Stern interview. Ivana Trump learned that her marriage was over when she was approached in public by Donald Trump's mistress, Marla Maples. Maples told Ivana that she was in love with Donald, and Ivana told her to get lost, according to her memoir, Raising Trump. Ivana was in shock and perhaps unprepared for the resulting tabloid whirlwind that documented their separation. It all began during the 1989 Christmas holiday in Aspen, where the Trumps were staying for vacation. Donald had Maples on hand in the same town as his wife, without Ivana's knowledge. Witnesses recalled seeing Donald walking with his arm around a blonde who wasn't his wife. All three even attended the same party at one point. After Ivana was confronted by Maples, people saw Ivana and Donald arguing while they were skiing. Did you see warning signs? Uh, I really didn't. Mm. I really didn't. Ivana maintained a tense relationship with Maples for the rest of her life. In her memoir, Ivana refused to forgive her, cheekily saying she was comfortable with her resentment. Maples didn't feel the same way. In 2016, Maples told people that the animosity between them made her feel sad. She said she never meant to hurt Ivana through her affair with Trump and enjoyed the close relationship she maintained with Donald's three children. She wanted her daughter Tiffany to be more than half-siblings to Ivana's own. Ivana Trump's divorce experience was so bad that she played Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive during depositions to keep her spirits up, according to her memoir. Although the couple separated in 1989, the divorce wasn't finalized until 1992. 
Ivana was given an annual allowance, but Donald tried to undermine it by hiring private detectives to follow her for evidence that she was being supported by a boyfriend, according to the Telegraph. Donald's lawyer also insulted Ivana's abilities to speak English, thereby undercutting the legitimacy of her prenup. But Ivana wasn't one to mess with. She alleged that Donald tried to undervalue his estate in one of their prenuptial agreements, and although Donald tried to avoid child support as much as possible, he was eventually made to pay $300,000 a year per New York Daily News. In the end, Ivana walked away with $14 million plus a mansion in Connecticut. But Ivana still had to deal with the public humiliation. Publicity of their divorce attracted global attention, which her attorney said was painful for her to experience, per the New York Times. If losing a 12-year marriage wasn't enough, Ivana also lost her father, Milos, to a heart attack just one year after discovering her husband's affair. Although Ivana Trump's first marriage was technically fake, her other marriages didn't last either. She married three more times, and they all ended in divorce. In 1995, she married again after Donald Trump, this time to a wealthy Italian businessman named Riccardo Mazzucchelli. They divorced two years later. Ivana took a stab at married life again when she tied the knot with Rossano Rubicondi in 2008. Their wedding was unique since it took place at her ex's estate, Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida. The ceremony was even officiated by Donald Trump's sister, Judge Mary Ann Trump Berry. But the relationship was controversial among her family. At the wedding, Donald Jr. joked in a speech that he would kill Ruby Condi if he hurt his mother, according to Town & Country. And when they divorced, Ruby Condi lashed out at Ivana's children, saying they were rude to him and only cared about money, for an interview with Page Six. The marriage lasted less than a year, and Ivana cited geographic reasons for their split. She wanted to live in New York, while Ruby Condi wanted to live in Miami and Milan. Donald Trump himself said he didn't approve of the marriage and said it was unfortunate it occurred in the first place. He didn't think Ruby Condi, who dressed up as Donald for Halloween in 2004, was a good match per the New York Post. Ruby Condi passed away in 2021 from melanoma at the age of 49. His death took a toll on Ivana, who had an on-again, off-again relationship with Ruby Condi after the divorce. Her friend Nikki Haskell told Good Day New York that Ivana wasn't her usual self in the aftermath. She died less than a year after he did. Ivana Trump wasn't interested in kinship with Donald's other wives. In fact, she refused to say Marla Maple's name and referred to her as the showgirl in her memoir. Her relationship with his current wife, Melania Trump, was similarly fraught. Now I speak directly to Mr. President, and uh, I don't get involved with the ex-wives and uh, their, his private life. Ivana caused a bit of a rift when she referred to herself as the First Lady during the first year of Donald's presidency in an interview with ABC News. And I don't want to cause any kind of jealousy or something like that, because I'm basically first Trump wife, okay? <laughs> I'm first lady, okay? <laughs> Melania responded angrily in a rare statement and called Ivana's comments attention-seeking and self-serving. She inferred that Ivana was only concerned with selling books. Ivana was critical of Melania's abilities to be first lady from the start. Speaking to the New York Daily News, Ivana criticized Melania's reserve and silence around politics and referred to her as Donald's third wife. Daughter Ivanka Trump told her mother that Melania was offended by the article, and Ivana texted Melania to reconcile. In her book, Ivana said she was rooting for Melania as first lady and believed she would do the job well. Unable to resist herself, however, she said she couldn't imagine Melania doing the gardening work that Michelle Obama did. Ivana had become a bit of a recluse in the final years of her life. She was afraid of getting infected with COVID-19 and refused to leave her townhouse where she lived alone. She took the virus more seriously than anyone in her friend group, a close friend told the New York Post. But her reluctance to leave her home was partly due to mobility issues caused by pain in her hip. Friend Zach Erdom told the New York Post that Trump was forced to stay home due to physical pain and couldn't visit one of her favorite New York City restaurants that Erdom owned. The origins of her mobility problems stemmed from her past as a professional skier, as well as a fall she took when she tripped over someone's purse at a restaurant. Her emotional health was impacted as well by the death of her ex-husband, Rosano. Although she denied suffering from depression, she admitted to a friend that she was sad, according to the New York Post. Initial reports of Ivana Trump's death indicated that she died due to natural causes, since the New York Fire Department said it responded to a report of an individual suffering a cardiac arrest. But the New York City medical examiner later revealed that Ivana died of blunt impact injuries to her torso as a result of falling down the stairs. Her death was ruled an accident. Ivana's personal aide and a cleaning lady tried to get into contact with their boss to no avail. They called a maintenance worker to get the door open, and he found Ivana's body next to a cup of spilled coffee, according to the New York Post. Ivana's tragic and fatal accident came after friends voiced concerns about her staircase. Friend Nikki Haskell told the New York Post that her staircase was treacherous, and she feared that Ivana would one day fall. 
Haskell refused to live at the home because of the steepness of the staircase. Another visitor to the Manhattan townhouse said the home had not been renovated and the carpet on the stairs was worn. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673.